Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be my first YouTube video, and it is going to be a showcase on C6 Kali. I actually decided to go for Max Constellation on her because I really enjoyed the gameplay style, even though everyone seems to not necessarily enjoy her playstyle. I think I like it a lot. It's kind of complicated with the things you can do with charge attacks and jump cancelling and all of that sort of stuff, so it was very fun to me. I am going to go through and kill a bunch of the world bosses, and then I'm also going to do Abyss 12-3, which I, uh, last time I tried, I ended up doing in two minutes, because Klee is just absolutely nuts. And then at the end of the video, I will show my build, and you guys can stick around for that. These bombs, so heavy!
That is the showcase for C6 Klee. Right now I'm going to go over my gear and artifacts with you guys. I have some Crimson Witch stuff, but not the full set because I don't think that it it's actually gone. benefits Klee that heavily. As you can see, I'm using a Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds. It is Refinement 5. That's not necessarily something that I was aiming for on purpose. I was trying to get a Wolf's Gravestone to 5 and this just sort of happened, so you know, it is what it is. Klee is still busted because of it. Um, <laughs> it turns out that using one can get you some crazy pyro damage numbers like 100% damage, and the book itself has crit rate, which is giving me this 54%. Uh, you'll see why this is 140% in my artifacts. And yeah. Dodoko? Dodoko, where are you? Uh, let us start with, I think, the flowers first in the list. Yeah. So this has crit damage, attack, energy recharge. That was sort of the reason that I aimed for it. I got really lucky on rules for this feather. It has crit damage plus 18%. Crit rate, energy recharge, and attack on Hourglass. That seemed like the easiest choice for Hourglass because some of the other stats uh, aren't the best. And typically this is either attack or defense if you're running Noel. Another attack percent on this goblet. The only reason that I'm running attack percent here instead of pyro damage is because I, first of all, I got a crazy good crit damage roll. And then second of all, um, I... I'm using the five star book that's in the banner right now, which gives a lot of element damage, and so I wanted to balance that out with this attack percent here. And then finally, I'm wearing a crit damage hat because, again, the five star book gives crit rate, so I wanted this crit damage here, which at plus 16 is 46 percent, which is kind of crazy actually. Um, if this were a five star, I would be able to get over 50 percent, but we're not there yet, gonna farm at AR45. As I mentioned, she is C6. The most crazy things about her constellations, in my opinion, are the fact that three and five level up her skills, plus three, which um, I know happens for every character, but for Klee seems especially crazy for her uh, Nova Burst or her Q. And then her E giving 23% defense down is also one of the crazy things. I know that this is going to sound silly, but if you are aiming just to use Klee as a main DPS and you can afford the extra couple bucks, then 
Constellation 2 is probably where I would stop if I weren't going all the way for 6 just to be a whale. <laughs> and then C6 is more so a support thing whenever you're under the effects of this. Uh, Klee gains 10% power bonage. Well, all party, but I personally will leave Klee out during this. Uh, gains 10% power bonus and then will regenerate energy for their party. Usually what this translates to is I can use Bennett's Q and then go into Klee's ult, and by the time that Klee's ult's over, if I have both of her E's up, Bennett will fully recharge his Q, which is very, very helpful for healing and also for damage. And then lastly, I have level 6 in all of her talents. I did not farm any Books of Freedom yet for this, but I was lucky enough to get the ring of boreas so that i can level up her ulti next i think that if you're going to level Klee, um you should focus on her well she's kind of well balanced in the sense that you get damage out of all of her stuff because this is her charge attack this is for all of the damage that comes with the mines and then her ult can proc on uh auto attacks and also is a crazy amount of damage whenever you are in it and you have it active uh that's about it thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want you can like and subscribe and i'll keep making genshin content thanks so much peace